So then, my ex-wife, she comes walking in, and she yells at me like she is. All right, here we are. Oh, and don't forget to rate me five stars. Same roof for the first time in what feels like forever. A handful of hay keeps the doctor at bay. Can I go ahead and slip out? Yeah, medicine and me are just fine. Hey, did you see the game the other night? Stop asking me about school. It's going fine. Yeah, Madison and Dashley have a long history of playing pranks on each other. And I don't mean harmless sisterly pranks either. I mean, like, I've seen Ashley naked more times than Madison. Uh, I mean, not that I have any reason to see Madison naked. <clears throat> What's your sign? Oh, God. Please don't tell me you're into Madison's sky animal fad. How are you? What do you guys think of the upcoming elections? Oh, Everywhere nobody's gonna place. answer? What yeah, that's that probably for the best. Don't want to repeat a friend's giving. I don't really keep too much money on me. I only brought like $50 tonight, and that's mainly to pay for my ride home. I should probably be like super careful that I don't spend it and end up blowing another random stranger for a ride home again. That night sucked. Bros before hoes, man. I live by that code. I have a lot of respect for somebody who can put their money where their mouth is when they say it, though. I've been fucked over too many times by people I thought were my friends. Every time Stephanie dips, I want to put my hand up on that hip. So when she dips, I dip, we dip. <laughs> Patrick, every time you get near me, I just feel... Ugh, what's the word? Like hate but like times a thousand man i would love to bust some moves out on the dance floor but this music maybe if they put on some real jams i might throw down anybody down to play some spin the brothel nothing kicks a party into overdrive like a little bit of mouth on mouth action you know what i'm saying please please don't go to chubby's when i'm working the last thing you want from a topless bar and grill is wrecking hey buddy glad you could make it just a fair bit of warning. My friends are a little, should I say, eccentric.
Quick. They're cool though. Make yourself at home and introduce yourself around. Thanks for coming, buddy. I'm really glad you came. It's been a rough week. I was looking forward to hanging with you. Ah, uh, it's not worth getting into right now. Let's just relax and enjoy ourselves. Go for it. I swear, I read like 10 books on how to meet new people and they all pretty much say the same yeah. shit. Don't I be a weirdo. Do I'm tutoring to get through my spirit. Oh shit, class. I have a missed call from my brother. Totally Ouch! Ugh, I stubbed my toe. How come it's always the worst freaking pain in the world? Ugh, hurts like dickens. Oh, Amy, I totally feel you. That's the worst. You know, a good way to get over a stubbed toe is to take any basic painkiller and crush them up into a fine powder. Mix that with any horse tranquilizer you might have laying around, then snort that powder through a rolled up bill, but make sure it's larger than a 20. After that, you won't remember the pain or the rest in the- Um, thanks, Stephanie. I'll do just that. Later. Well, Amy, maybe you should look for friends elsewhere. Everybody dance now, bop, 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 bop. Do they even want to dance with me? Anybody? Like Some of the art around here offer. is re- Oh, hey, I'm Amy. Why, thank you. The pleasure's all mine. Oh, yeah, I guess I have been kind of spacing out. Well, it's just that I'm new in town and I'm trying to join a sorority. They got me doing a scavenger hunt as an initiation. It's due tomorrow, and I don't have a lot of the items still. I'm thinking about maybe leaving the party and seeing if I can finish it up. A lot of the items on the list are kind of, well, embarrassing to say the least. And I don't know too many people here that well. Oh, wow. Okay then. Maybe I'll stick around for a bit and see what we can get accomplished. Thank you. Oh yeah, Madison is super freaky. You have no idea. I found a vibrator in her room with a clippocalypse setting. You could probably effectively use it as a defibrillator or a taser. Or you're as freaky as she is, a whisk for your morning eggs. The fire is so pretty. Let's see. The first item I don't have is... Oh gosh. Somebody's expired credit card. And it can't be mine. See why I can't ask these people I just met? Things get much worse going forward too. Yeah, I'm new in town. 
It's nice that I was able to meet some new friends so quickly, though. This group welcomed me with open arms. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think they ever officially welcomed me. They just kind of silently and awkwardly acknowledged I was here. Did you need something? Act like you're doing the girl a favor and get her some drinks in hopes of getting her tipsy so she loses her inhibitions and makes poor life choices. And then you might have a chance of getting laid tonight, right? I think I'll pass. Hey, how's it going, buddy? All right, shoot. Thanks, Mom. Dr. Jettison Rachel. never looked me in the eye after the rest of the too. semester. Hey, I'm Stephanie. Like, what's up? Well, I guess. I just like making people happy. And usually pills do that. And fucking. Oh, and fucking while on pills. Pills are just really, really great. She's like super smart. If I could have copied off her in grade school, I would have been like a straight A student. This party's okay, but I really wish I could do some whippets. Well, I get kind of crazy on whippets. If you like my dance moves now, you haven't seen anything yet. It is the actor process of inhaling nitrous oxide from small compressed canisters or compressed cans of whipped cream to obtain a momentary high. I get like totally serious when it comes to drugs. Oh, I work at Chubby's, that sports bar with all the greasy food and the, you know, topless waitresses. Great for you, maybe. There's only so many times you can hear the same jokes over and over again. I'd order the footlong, but I already have one. <laughs> but at least I get to take home a free meal every night, which ironically is usually a footlong because they're pretty good and long. Steady? Oh, I don't know. I'm doing like all the general stuff right now just to like get them out of the way. To be honest, I don't really know what I want to do after that. But this is a party, so I'm not going to think about the magnitude of decision I'll eventually have to make and in turn forever alter my life's path. Let's get fucked up! I can't really tell if you know what you're talking about or if you're machine mashing words together. It's okay, I live those feels. But... I guess Derek really wanted to bring his friend along to my party tonight. Is it me or is it... Rude to extend a party invite to your own friends. Well, yeah, baby. I was just saying I really do know how to throw a piece on the dance floor. Even the new guys have Let's fun. Let's light it up. 
This might sound weird, but I love a man who can dance. There's something about a guy with moves that really gets me going. I heard Frank's got some serious circumference. I wouldn't be shocked if he actually is the biggest bald bra at the party. Hey, hey, look at you. You keep that up and you might give me a run for my money someday. You still got a long way to go before you can match these moves, though, baby. The garage is just our junk storage right now, since neither of us has a valid license. Though, there's some pretty cool stuff in there. No valid driver's license? Madison! Was someone a naughty girl? I really wish there was a cool story to this, but neither Ashley or I can pass the new driver's test for out-of-staters. They ask you questions like, at what distance do you apply your brakes when following behind a bus filled with eight-year-olds that's coming up on a railroad track? 30 yards, duh, everybody knows that. Here's the answer. Don't rear end the damn school bus. Why were all of the answers just use common fucking sense? So did Ashley fail for the same reason? I mean, sorta. One of the questions was, true or false? You should never speed in a school zone. And she wrote, false, because if I hit a kid going 20, I'm just putting them in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. So at least if I'm going 60, if I hit someone, we can all have closure. Oh my God. Yeah, they escorted her out. She's not allowed to touch anything with even one wheel on it. Ashley can't even unicycle legally in this state. Pergalicious. If you're out there, sweet baby, you can come on out. Daddy's here. Purr, purr. Oh, did you see that movie about the homeless man learning how to swim? It was the most touching film since that one where the cowboy has to eat his pet goat to stay alive. Look, but don't touch, sweetie. I've been trying my hand at some of those battle royal games. I'm, a, uh, am shit at them. Get my ass kicked by 12 year olds, not my stuff. Hey buddy, I heard you talking to Stephanie. She's pretty dang helpful when she's not, you know, stoned out of her head. You know I'm totally new here, right? I don't know about her life, but I know about people. And if I were to guess, being around the same people you've known all your life and staying in the same town you were born and raised in can make it kind of tough to think about the future and what comes next. That's why I moved away from my town. That and the thing I did with the mayor, but I don't talk about that. I don't know, man. Let people live their lives or whatever. <sighs> but she's not really making the most of herself right now. If there was a medical emergency, I would bet that Stephanie would kick into gear and realize she can do something to help. But that's a total hypothetical, because creating a medical emergency out of nowhere would be fucked up, right? But if a medical emergency erupted out of complete nowhere, without anybody's hand in it, <laughs> it would be rather funny if it happened to that girl Catherine, who said, and I quote, just because you're Asian doesn't mean you're smarter than me. That would be rather funny but only if a medical emergency was to just happen. Right, only if. All right, well, I'm gonna walk away now and act like we never talked about this because we didn't. Okay, bye.